All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook, Pacific Bay, case number 21, Under the Thunderdome. Let's head on to the additional investigation where a hurricane is about to hit. Hey, Commissioner Ace, I heard you solved your investigation with efficiency, and I'd like to ask you a favor. That crazy woman's outburst about the weather machine made everyone suspicious of the military. The situation at the stadium is a mess. The refugees are verging on riot and panic, and someone stole my laptop. There's a lot of sensitive information on that computer. I know we don't always see eye to eye, but you're the only one I trust with this. Of course, Colonel. If the Army needs your help, we'll have a look around the evacuation center as soon as we can. And Ace, I found a new lead on the puppeteer. The serial killer could kill my parents. I was looking into past victims and discovered the puppeteer killed the previous owners of Hugo Mercier's house. Was he a suspect in your investigation? He was. Hugo Mercier was the father of our victim. What an amazing coincidence. Ace, I was hoping you'd agree to come talk to Hugo with me. Hopefully he'll be able to tell us more about the previous owners who got murdered. Don't worry, Jan. I'm sure Ace will help you talk to Hugo. As for me, Ace, I'll wait for you at the stadium. The Puppeteer. Nice. Hello, Mr. Mercier. My name's Jan Toussaint. I'm a colleague of Commissioner Ace. We're looking for information considering the previous owners of your house. Oh, those poor folks? They got murdered by the crazy puppeteer serial killer. That's why I could afford the house, actually. I see. Do you remember about anything about the family at all? Well, not really, but there were some things left behind. I emptied my attic to take refuge from the rising water, so there might be a few of their belongings floating around out there. Well, thank you, Mr. Mercier. You're right, Ace. We better have a look around. Wow. Ugh, I'm so excited. I, I could care less about what the <laughs> what the army wants. Party banner, clock, kite, inflatable boat, wind chime, palm tree, uh, doll, rug, trash bag, cocktail glass, wooden box, pink floatable. And now they have 20 because they have the uh, they have the pets. Pretty cool. Pretty neat idea. I actually applaud the developers for doing that. It gives other people who want the high score kind of a chance to do it. Good job, Ace. I've never have spotted that box. Not in a million years. It's written Memories, 1990s. I bet this box belonged to the previous inhabitants of the house. The ones who were murdered by the puppeteer. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, why don't we? I'm very curious. It looks like a picture. Oh. I knew you had a flare when you picked up that box, Ace. You found a photo album of the uh, the family that got murdered by the pu puppeteer. They look like normal, happy folks, just like my parents. Why did the puppeteer pick them out? Yeah, good idea, Ace. If we send this album to Russell, he'll probably be able to use it to further his understanding of the puppeteer. After all. He always says a serial killer's victim says a lot about them. Oh my gosh, I just had a crazy idea. What if Russell's the puppeteer? I'm trying to think if Russell's old enough to be the puppeteer. But what if he was? That would be nuts. That would be absolutely insane. Like little clues here and there. He'd basically be like the the Dexter of uh, this, you know, like a serial killer who had, who was uh, hidden in plain sight. All right. I'm trying to like uh, talk and find stuff. I'm not doing very well with that. There you go. We're definitely going to need to decrypt this device, that's for sure. Wonderful, Ace. This laptop you found definitely belongs to the army. Seems like it wasn't stolen after all. Maybe the colonel just misplaced it. Hey, you're right. We better unlock that laptop first if we want to make sure everything's all right. It wouldn't do to give it back if it's broken, right? Plus, we can get some more information on them, maybe. Sam in the military. Huh. Oh, yeah, because we got to unlock it first. That's probably an R. Ah, it's this one. Dang it. 
Ooh, nine, just barely. Good job unlocking that laptop, Ace. It seems like it's working just fine. On the other hand, I agree. We can't give back to the Colonel without making sure the info on it hasn't been tampered with. Better send this laptop to Hannah first. Nice. I like it. Perfect, perfect. Well, anyways, guys, see you guys in nine hours. Thank you guys for liking and commenting. Always means a bunch to me. And at the end of this video, again, I will be promoting one or two guys. So thank you guys all for commenting. I always uh, appreciate it. Also, put your badge number. Um, also helps me to figure out who is um, commenting and liking. So see you guys in a little bit. Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. All right, folks. Pitching Ace 88, and we are back. Let's finish this off. Hey, so I wish I was allowed to keep that info from that laptop you brought me from the stadium. Andrew told me not to, but darn, it's tempting. Now, someone clearly stole this computer from Colonel Spangler and tried to erase some information on the hard drive. It took me hours to recover the data. But don't worry, our culprit was very clumsy. They checked their emails, Ace. Their emails on a stolen military laptop. And I used the thief's emails to identify them. Turns out the person who stole Spangler's laptop is none other than Peggy Pascal. Hey, Peggy is tampering with military property. You're right, Ace. She's gone too far. We must bring her back to her senses. Ace, yawn. I'm so glad you brought me this photo album. It's a brilliant insight into how the puppeteer chooses their victims. Here we have the last pictures ever taken of the parents before they were killed. Now, this teenage girl in the photo wasn't harmed by the puppeteer, just like Jan's life was spared when his parents got murdered. And look at the photo. The girl is celebrating her 14th birthday, a few days before her parents' murder, Jan. Weren't you 14 when your parents were killed? Well, yeah. Well, that's what I thought. See the pattern here? Wait, are you telling us we just figured out part of the puppeteer's modus operandi? That, they're, that they kill parent to a 14-year-old child? Wow, Ace, thanks to you, we're finally making progress in our investigation. Indeed. However, parents with a single 14-year-old child is still too large a target. We must be missing another piece of the puzzle here. Yeah, I agree with Ace. Maybe those photos will help jog Hugo Mercier's memory, so we can tell us a little bit more about this family. There must be a reason why they were chosen by the puppeteer. Oh, snap. Now, a couple things I'd like to address because I've been getting these in comments. One, if you guys could always like and comment, um, even though the likes don't always produce new videos, it's not always that. The re main reason that I'm doing the likes and I want you guys to like my videos is the way that YouTube works is the more likes a video has, the more that they'll show up on searches. So, yes, by you liking, it really doesn't affect you guys at all, but it affects me. And if anyone types anything, criminal, case, anything like a Thunderdome, and this video has a ton of likes, it'll now pop up within YouTube more frequently than something that doesn't have that many likes. So it seems very simple, but believe it or not guys, since you guys have been liking my videos on Pacific Bay specifically, um, my views have like doubled compared to Grimsboro. So it's a really good thing. I really appreciate it. If you guys can always just do that, um, I know it takes you a little bit of extra time just to click the like button, but it really means a lot to me. Um, I'll try and explain this in the next case because I feel like not many people watch the additional investigation. Um, but for those of you guys who watch the additional investigation, I feel like you guys are the ones that really watch all of my videos. And for those of you who do that, if you guys could just hit the like at some point during the video, it would really help me out. Thank you. Mr. Mercier, I know you told us before that you don't remember anything about the family who used to live in this house before you. Now, I moved into a place that lives right across the street from uh, a police station and a fire department, so you may hear that on my videos. But anyways, but could you please look at these photos? Surely your neighbors must have talked about them after the murders. Did you hear anything about their family life? Well, geez, it was such a long time ago, but I remember hearing about the girl. She was devastated after the murder. She kept saying it was all her fault. Well, why would she say it was all her fault? Apparently she had a big fight with her parents just before they died. You know how teenagers are. Poor girl, right after her 14th birthday. Oh great, look, the water's coming up and I've got things to do, Commissioner Ace. Could you please take some of this junk off my hands? I'm sure you could get a pretty penny for it. Wow. Ace, I didn't want to say anything in front of the Hugo Mercier, but you know how he said the girl had a fight with the parents just before their murder? Well, I also had a fight with my parents shortly before they were killed. It was during the carnival and everyone saw it. I accused them of being bad parents. The next day they got killed by the puppeteer. The last words I said to them were words of anger. I was angry at them, but I never wanted them dead. I've never been able to forgive myself, so I understand how that poor girl must have felt. 
Gosh darn it, I am so sorry for the noise. But you're right, Ace. Now that we know that the puppeteer only targets parents of 14-year-old kids, they also target the parents who are in conflict with their child. Believe me, Ace, I'm going to find this monster and make them pay for the years of guilt and misery they've brought upon us all. Oh, snap. That's actually really cool, you know, in terms of, like, helping us to figure out what exactly is happening. Hey, Peggy, what were you thinking stealing that laptop from the army? What? No, I've never seen that laptop. Don't bother lying, Peggy. Hannah said you checked your emails on it. What were you looking for on this laptop? Uh, all right, I may have borrowed it. I know it was stupid, but I had to know more about the army's weather controlling machine. So I had a look at the laptop's files on the weather machine, and I found proof that the machine has indeed been built. I printed a picture that proves it, but then I heard someone coming, and I, I panicked. I tore up the photos like a fool, and then I tried to shut the computer down. I accidentally pressed the delete button. Believe me, Commissioner Ace, I didn't plan to erase anything. I just ran away from it and left everything there. The torn picture must still be at the stadium. Well, you're right, Commissioner Ace. This picture might have hold some sensitive info. We better have a closer look at the stadium then. Let's buy a snack on the way. I can use some energy. Sweet. So, something I would also like to address, guys. Um, in the upcoming cases, uh, there will be... Um, because the cases are already out, there will be some spoilers. Um, sadly, people spoiling down below. Please don't do it. For instance, like the next case, um, you know, I don't want you guys spoiling anything for it. The case will be coming out really, really soon. Um, probably tomorrow morning. Um, and at that point, you guys can, you know, do all of your, all the things you guys want to do. You guys comment, all of that stuff. Um, anyways, so we got blood pressure monitor, water puddle, newspaper. Lock metal. Oh, there's metal detector. Oh, I was just guessing that. Water bottle. Uh, the hooks here. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Wire. Uh, ropes here. And I don't know where the lock is. There it is. Did I select the wrong one? Oh, wait. Nice catch, Ace. This must be the picture Peggy tore up in her panic. She didn't go easy on it. I hope you can restore it. I completely forgot about that. That is my bad. Rain test 42. Wow, they've done a lot of tests. Well done, restoring the picture, Ace. Yeah, machine looks complicated. And you're right. What about the legend under underneath the picture rain test number 42 um ace i don't mean to sound insane but do you think this picture of the weather machine that it actually exists i can't believe this a machine that can change the weather who could have thought this thing could have ever existed yeah well spotted it seems something else written on this document but it's been erased do you think you could retrieve it do you think i can retrieve it i am waiting on pins and needles to re retrieve this thing man this is insane Oh, <laughs> what's up, Colonel Spangler? Good job revealing the caption, Ace. And look at this, Weather Project, Head of Project, Colonel Spangler. Colonel Spangler himself was supervising the test of the machine. I can't believe he didn't tell us the Army has created a real weather machine. Why would they do this? Well, let's go interrogate the Colonel. Mind blown. My mind is blown. Blown. Colonel Spangler, Commissioner Ace has found your computer, and we also found proof that the weather machine has been built and tested. Well, this is a confidential project. I didn't ask for your help for you to snoop around. Colonel, Commissioner Ace is right. If a machine is being used in Jazztown, it's not a confidential project anymore. We need to know now. We have to understand, yes, the machine works. As crazy as it sounds, but it can only create a little rain in restricted areas. Nothing to worry about. It can create a little rain? How about a big hurricane? Don't be ridiculous. This project's aim is to support operations during severe droughts or to help humanitarian organizations. We're trying to help people, not threaten them. Look, thank you for finding my computer, Commissioner Ace, but we're done here. If you want to keep overseeing the evacuation freely, let me give you my volunteer's uniform. Yeah, I don't know about you, Ace, but I've had a bad feeling. I guess with the upcoming hurricane, everyone is tense. And talking about the weather, I still can't believe Colonel Spangler's weather machine is actually functional. That's crazy. I'm not even sure we can trust the military's intentions with that machine. Who knows what else Colonel Spangler is hiding from us? Hey Ace, have you taken a look outside? It seems people of Jazztown have decided to party. Way to stay positive in the state face of a t catastrophe. Oh crap, somebody just threw a Molotov cocktail at a car. Hope it doesn't explode. Molotov cocktail? Russell, 
These people aren't partying, they're rioting. What? Thank goodness, guys. I waited long enough. I get to go to the additional investigation next. So please stay tuned, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.